So you want to run Metro Exodus with mods. How do you go about doing that? Well, it's quite simple. First of all, come to Steam and then type in Exodus. Okay, can't even spell it properly. Try that again. There we go, Metro Exodus. So we're going to need a copy of Metro Exodus installed already and then we're going to need the Exodus SDK. So let's just click on that because I already have this installed and we'll do an install. Next. And off it goes. Right, now while that's installing, we can do the following. Come here to the Mod.io page and grab some mods. Now, Mod.io is the only page I know that is actually hosting mods at the moment. That's probably going to change because all we're going to do here is grab some zip files. So, for example, I'm going to come here to Metro in the... And just do a download, manual download. In fact, I've done this already, but just click on that. It'll download onto your hard drive. It's probably worth creating an account as well because I use it for various other games. As you can see, I've got Dusk mods. I've got, was it ready or not? I've also got Insurgency as well, uses this site. So worth having, but as I say, not the only site that deals in mods. Right, then once the modded file is on your PC, all you have to do is unzip it, which I've already done here, but I've used WinRAR just to show you. It takes a while to load, just go OK. There you go, and then you just pop it wherever you want, and I just unzipped it straight here. There we go, and this is what you actually get. Right, so once the SDK is installed, come up here to Metro Exodus, the game. Go to this cog here. Go to Manage, Browse Local Files. And make a note of this path here. Okay, because the first time you launch the SDK, it's, it wants to know where the game is installed. So this is the actual path of where you've got it installed. Okay, it won't come up for me now because I've already done that and it's kept it in memory. But anyway, let's launch the SDK. It's at this point where you would be prompted for the game path. It's already kept it in memory for me, so let's get on with installing a mod. So to do that, click on Add Existing Mod. Okay, and now we're going to browse to wherever you've unzipped that file that we downloaded from Mod.io earlier. I keep it in my Downloads folder, so I'm just going to go down to Downloads. There we go. Okay, Exodus Mods, there it is. Metro IS mod. Cool. And I'm going to go OK. And I'm going to call it Metro. Oh, can't even spell. Metro IS. There we go. OK it. And now I can actually just launch it. Right, so here we are in game. Now, as you can see, this is all. Well, being written by somebody who uses a Cyrillic alphabet, so Russian, Ukrainian. I don't understand either, so I had to do a lot of guesswork to know how to launch it. But here it is. And it says here in very, very faint writing, SDK test environment. So that's how you launch this particular mod. Click on that. Okay, and it's ready to go. So we'll just press E. And here we are, we're actually in the mod, which is awesome. So that's really all there is to it. Just grab everything here. Oh, but turn the light off. Okay, how do you turn this on? There we go, that'll do. This is just a little test level, so obviously there's not much available at the moment. Ugh, cobwebs, hate them. God, I hate this. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Let me open this. Oh, Christ. Awesome. Right. Well, there you go. As I said, that's all there is to it. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comment section down below. And all there is now is to wait and see what great mods come down the pipeline at us.